Absolutely. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us your role? Sure. Uh, my name is Luke Timmons. I'm an engineering lead at Bungie. I've uh, been with Bungie since 2001. So that is like my full, my full run up. Um, I work primarily on the live team. I just came off of uh, House of Wolves. Um, also do a bunch of stuff with PVP, so yeah. So obviously we're here to talk about the new Destiny release coming yeah. soon. Yep. Tell us a little bit about it. So it is, it's our first major, uh, first major expansion to the game. Um, and for, uh, you know, for us, what does that mean? Well, the first thing is there's a, there's a brand new campaign. So, for people who have taken before, like I hope, I hope everybody who's watching, I hope, I hope you have. Um, you know, we introduced uh, back in back in uh, Dark Below, we introduced uh, you know this character Eris, and Eris was talking about this great hive threat that was coming, and then you met Crota, and Eris was sort of crazy, and she's like, Oryx, Oryx is coming, and so the Taken King is about Oryx. I mean, right off the bat, you know, in, which you got to play in the in the demo, um, the the coming war, that was the first taste of of what's coming. So basically. You know, it opens up, there's there's Eris, there's Evol, they're talking, and Eris is like, he's here, he's here, and finally, boom, you get to meet uh, Oryx. So, Oryx is unique, he's a special uh, Hive King, he has a, he has a unique uh, ability, which is he can make these things that are called the Taken. So, he can tear these holes in the, in the uh, space-time continuum, he can take creatures from our dimension, put them through where they're corrupted by the darkness, we were introduced to the darkness in Original Destiny 1, you pull them back, and they're like twisted, they're under his control, they have new abilities, so now you have you know, brand new bad guy to fight you've been talk told about. And uh, of course, you know, why does Oryx want to kill you? He's like, you killed my son. Which, uh, for those of us who fought, you know, Crota in the raids, I killed him weekly, many, many times. Um, I think a, I think a lot of people killed his son. So he's mad at all of us. Um, he's got this great army. And uh, and yeah, I mean, that, that is so right off the bat, this full new campaign. So that so that's that, that's going to be awesome. Um, the next thing, of course, it, it uh, you know, it, we, we we're super excited to, to talk about every every class getting a new subclass. Um, so you mentioned that you're a you're a titan. Uh, yeah, the, the sunbreaker with uh was was awesome. Uh, the hammer of soul, hammer of soul is cool because, yeah. I mean, I hope when you got to use it, the the, the cool thing about the super is that you get both um you get these both distant attacks to sort of lob in a ballistic ballistic round, but you also get this really cool melee. It, it handles similar to the relic that handled in uh, Destiny One, where you can basically ping pong between between guys, um, and so that, that that that's really fun. Um, of course. Um, my main's a warlock, so of course uh, the storm, the storm callers. I don't want to say that's the correct class. I'm kidding. Um, the uh, the you know they they get um, this you know who are they? You get to be emperor you know Palpatine with with electricity coming out of your fingers. Um, the super uh, storm trance is awesome. It I want to say in the build here at E3, it's a little bit overpowered for PvP because you're just floating around murdering people because lightning chains. It's sort of ridiculous. I think we're gonna balance that. Um, he gets an awesome new grenade. Everybody gets these awesome new grenades to use. But of course, like the big the class that I'm personally most excited about the new subclass is, um, I mean, yeah, the Hunters. So when I saw, it was back in like October of last year and I saw one of our designers with this, he's, he's at his desk and he's showing, and I was like, what, what is that? What is that bow? And he's like, oh, it's gonna be the new subclass for the Hunter. And I was like, oh! So I went home that day and rolled a Hunter. So I have a level 34 Hunter that is just ready for the Night Stalker. And I mean, yeah, I, I love I, I love support rules. And so the cool thing about it, which is which was hard to play in the, in the demo today, but the cool thing about it is that if you land a direct hit with the bow, with a shadow shot super, it does damage. But also the cool thing about it is that you can actually then bind people to the ground. So it's gonna be an awesome support role for PvE. So, okay, so you have this awesome new campaign, you basically have these great new subclasses to play with. And then of course, it wouldn't be a Destiny game if there wasn't, you know, there's 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 gear, there's new exotics, there's new weapons. Um, you, you got a tiny taste of, um, we, we're doing a bunch of cool stuff with uh, weapon foundries. We're trying to, you know, when you see a Soros weapon, we're trying to have more meaning for what that is. Most people know the Soros, is, it's the Soros regime. And no, the, actually Soros is a weapon company that makes a very signature style of weapon. It should look the same, it should feel, it should have similar perks, weight upgrades. That's gonna be cool. Um, of course, and, and the, one of the big things for us is our first expansion then as a new destination. So. Uh, you know, the first thing we're like, behold Oryx, and then you see his flying gigantic battleship in the sky, the Dreadnought. So you're, so you know, everybody's gonna get to look forward to having a new, a new place to go. Um, and the Dreadnought's cool. It's, it's our next sort of our next iteration when we think about destinations. It's not just oh, here's a bunch of new spaces to run through. We've really been thinking about you know what's what's cool about a destination, and, and yeah, like there's gonna be more stuff to explore, more secrets are gonna unfold in it. I, I think. I, I, I hope people like it. I think it's gonna be awesome. Um, and then across the board, there's tons of new stuff. It's new stuff to do. Um, so new strikes, new crucible game modes, uh, new crucible maps, um, new patrols, new public events, new bounties. I mean, so I, the Taken King really is. It's our it's our biggest expansion, first major expansion. There's a, there's a bunch of great stuff there. And yeah, I mean, it's it's going. I, I I think every Destiny player. I hope they love it. And I think if you've never played Destiny before, I. I, I hope you have met people who tell you about it, and, and I mean, yeah, it's, it's a great time to come in. It's a great time to start playing. So, 
So to me, it doesn't sound like there's a lot in the game that's coming soon. Um, <laughs> what was the biggest challenge for you guys to bring in so much in one single update? I mean, it's, you know, for, 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 the, for, the, for the previous updates, you know, for, for Dark Below and House of Wolves, you know, we, we basically get a group together and we say, go make something awesome, go tell a cool story, go make an adventure. Um, you know, the, the Taken King, yeah, the team was bigger, they had more time, so they had, you know, I work on the, on the live team, the live team, we, we've been updating decently, you know, we, we've, I think we've done like 30 updates or something, we just, we just updated um, to fix some Prison of Elders, some stuff, we listen to community feedback, so you sort of have these small updates, and then you get, you know, it was, it was really the, the Taken King group that could say, okay, we, we've taken a lot of feedback about strikes, let's put a better strike, let's put a better story, Biggest challenge? I mean, man, every, everything we do, you're always doing those sort of cost-benefit trade-offs of how big can we make it? What can we do? So, I don't know. I think I'm giving you like a Weasley answer, but like, but like, make, making it, making games is, is hard. Trade-offs are hard, and, and I think I'm, I'm really happy where we ended up. Like, I think I think that the to me, Destiny is all about. Destiny feels good in your hands. It feels good to play, and, and I'm, I'm excited. I think anybody who, especially the subclass, people should be super stoked to play them. So, yeah. And what's the general feedback? fans been like for each of the updates you know it's it's funny we we listen i love again being on being the live team uh i love hearing both what people like and i love what they don't like because what they what they don't like there's always interesting stuff to hear to hear about that and we'll hear stuff like you know hey this this strike my god it's too long it's not playing well and all the rest of that we try to we try to address that and, there, and there's other stuff too that the community says that we, that we try to we try to roll in especially for you know i i hope that I hope that people think when they sit down and play the Taken King. I hope they think that the that the that the orcs narrative, the overall arc of that campaign. I I, I think it's one of the best stories we've told. I think orcs as a as a person you want to go kill will resonate with people. So I think it's a. I mean when I when I it's, I'm so funny. I'm not I'm not a huge fiction guy personally, but when I when I first like saw orcs and he's like, you killed Crota. I was like, oh yeah, I did. Okay, I get that. Like I, it, it resonated with me. So yeah, I don't know. Yep. I mean, um, random players rather yep. than your Absolutely. friends, is that you might be in the middle of, you know, you're an hour in, and then the person you're with just goes, eh, uh, and AFK, no. yep. And that's really, really hard, because you're left there with, like, a huge number of enemies trying to kill you, and you're on your own, and you're like, eh. Absolutely. We, we, yeah, we, we, so we have two systems. We have a, we have a system that, to, that does try to join people back in progress. We, we, we are constantly doing tuning for that to make that better. We also have a team that is, yeah, I mean, we are looking for players who are basically running idle, and that's across the board. That could be in any mode, and, and trying to make sure that we're, we're helping to correct people and be like, hey, think about other people. We, so we, we do have a team that is both live team and, and that is basically monitoring, the, monitoring what people are playing and trying to make sure to keep it healthy. It, it's, it's absactly an issue, it's important, and, and yeah, I mean, I've, I've absolutely been, just like you said, doing a, like a Prison of Elders thing and been like, oh no, they dropped, ah, you know, so. But yeah, we, that, Joint of Progress is, is, is supposed to help there, and yeah, we, we know, we know it's an issue. But, I mean, it doesn't happen as much as it did when we first started playing. See, I, I, I hope, see, un, uh, what I hope is that a lot, of the, a lot of the support that we do, a lot of the teams, that, especially that I work with, uh, matchmaking, networking, we are constantly trying to do stuff under the covers that hopefully you never even have to see or know about. You just are like, oh, it's getting better. I, I certainly, that's, personally, that's the I, hope. since playing, starting it last September, yeah. I've noticed that it's that's a lot the hope. better. So, yeah, that is uh, the hope. Well done. Hey, hey, thank you for playing. Uh, so what's next? And you're going to say, I can't tell you. No, I mean, I, I, I will say, like, right now, if you were to break into Bungie with, like, a crowbar and go see what was going on, you would see the live team. You would see which, you know, they're just every, they're all about just the, the game that's out there now. You would see the vast majority of the studio closing the Taken King. <laughs> just like, ah, getting, getting it all done. And then, yeah, absolutely, we have people who are always thinking about the next adventure and, and thinking about that. Um, you know, we for, for us... Destiny is, I mean, and we've we've said it so much as sort of this, I mean, and when I mean, we mean it when we say it, we talk about Destiny as a, as a 10 year game. Um, I mean, yeah, like we, we are just always thinking about what is the next adventure we're gonna build? Who's the who's the team at Bungie who's, who's gonna do that? Um, super proud of the, of the Taken King and uh, I'm, I'm excited for people to, to then play stuff after that, but I, most of all, I, yeah, I want people to, I wanna hear the feedback. I want this, I wanna get this out there, so. And obviously there's been um, some PlayStation exclusives last year. Yep. Yep. Um, they're obviously going to be coming now yep. to other platforms. Yep. So, uh, what else is coming that people might want to, to look for and play? Oh, so yeah, you're saying so, so? So, yeah. So, we are absolutely the maps, specifically PlayStation maps, are going to get get rolled back in um, starting in the fall. The the um, but yeah, for PlayStation exclusive for starting for this for year two is um, there's a, there's a, a PVP map sector six eighteen which we're actually showing um, at E three. 
Uh, there's a strike, and there's also um, ex exclusive. I think I'm trying to remember the right number of the fact sheet for the number of exotics that they get. But, um, but yeah, there, there, there's a similar bundle of exclusive stuff for PlayStation for PlayStation players. Yeah. Obviously, there's voice talent in the game. Yep. Uh, when you're creating new content, is it hard to get the, um, the relevant people back into? Because obviously, certain people are busy with sure. uh, certain things. You know, it's funny. I on the I, I'm on because I'm on the engineering side. I can honestly tell you, like, there's this whole part of the way when we pull in like voice talent that I have no knowledge of. So I can like honestly tell you, for me, like when I in the even in the build today when they're like. Like Zavala's back, Eris is back. I'm like, oh, hey, they're back. <laughs> so, but, so, so yeah, I wish I could give you a better answer than that. Um, but I mean, yeah, I think our audio team did a great job. I, I'm, I'm super excited to hear the, the, the cast we have coming back. So for this, so I don't know. And uh, have you got a message for the fans? Thank you for, <laughs> I mean, the, my message is thank you for playing. Thanks everybody for a great year one. I hope everybody had fun. I'm looking forward to everybody getting their hands on the Taken King to uh, for, for year two. I look forward to, a whole second year of, uh, of hearing feedback of how we can hopefully how we can make the game better, how we can listen, how we can do better. So thank you, thank you everybody for playing. And when can people play? When can they play? Ah, September fifteenth, um, and uh, you can play on all all four platforms. Should be awesome. Thank, thank you. you very much for your time. Today. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the link on the screen now?